Hey everybody, my name's Terry, and today we're going to talk about Utah. More specifically, how everybody reacts when they find out that I, a punk rock tattooed hippie emo kid, was actually born and raised there. Here we go. People always think of Utah as this fantasy land, like a place that doesn't really exist, but you've read about it in books. And by books, I mean books that they've turned into movies because I know that you don't read. Like Lord of the Rings. But instead of hobbits, it's Mormons. And instead of multiple breakfasts, it's multiple wives. I do know that that's a hack joke. But when someone finds out that I was born and raised in Utah, within three questions, I'll always get multiple wives, huh? So people are always just left up to their imagination of what Utah is really like. And besides the whole polygamy thing, they never imagine a good place. Because every time I meet someone, they always treat me like I just left a war zone or escaped Jeffrey Epstein's island. Whew. Utah, huh? Glad you made it out of there. And you know what? They're not wrong. Because even though that Utah is a very beautiful place to look at, it can be a pretty fucked up place to live. Five years ago, I moved to Atlanta. And every time when someone asks me what Utah is like, this is what I tell them. So let's say we're in Atlanta and we're headed on a road trip. And you go for an hour in any direction you're gonna run into a billboard that says you can't hold hands with God while you masturbate and every 21 minutes our next possible leader is aborted. This is when you know that you're in Georgia and you're like, Jesus. And then you see a billboard that agrees with you. And eventually you're gonna to have to pull over for gas in a town that's 99% white. And as soon as you get out of the car, you get that feeling in your body like when you're at a haunted house and you know the chainsaw guy's about to pop out and you realize that you need to get the fuck out of there. Well, that's what all of Utah is like. Now look, I understand that it sounds made up that only 1% of Utah is black and I wanted to give you the facts. So I Googled it, which is a weird thing to be Googling right now, especially since I didn't type it. I asked my Google home. Hey Google, how many black people are there in Utah? Why, why do you want to know that? Don't worry, I'm just writing jokes. But you're going to bring race into it. In this climate? Well, I think it's an important part of the story. You're punching up, right? Yeah, of course I am. Don't you lie to me. Yes, I'm punching up. Okay, the percentage of African Americans in Utah is 1.6%. And I know that's shocking, but it's true. In my high school, there was only one black guy. His name was DJ, and he played hockey. And then Google went on to say... According to the website health.utah.gov, there's actually only 48,000 African Americans in the entire state of Utah, which by entire state standards is not that many. For reference, the total population of Utah is 3 million people. The total population of Metro Atlanta is 6 million people, which draws me to the conclusion that nobody wants to live in Utah, except the Mormons, because Brigham Young said this is the place Everybody else came and just looked around and went, ah, you can have it. It went on to say that Utah saw a 77% growth rate between the years of 2000 and 2010, with the biggest year being in August of 2005, because that was the year that Utah gave huge tax breaks for people to move there. Just kidding. It was because thousands of people were relocated there from Mississippi and Louisiana in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. So, in the middle of one of the world's biggest storms, a bunch of white people showed up and said, Get on these planes! We're gonna take you somewhere safe! And then they loaded up the planes, and this is true, they didn't tell anybody where they were going. Now, the flight from Louisiana to Salt Lake is around four hours. And my question is, how long into this flight was it before someone went, Where do you think they're taking us? But, after around four hours, they landed, the captain said, Thank you for flying Relocation Airlines. You have now landed safely in Salt Lake City, Utah. And then a bunch of white people were like, Hey, you live here now. So I was telling this story to a friend back home the other day, and he said, Did you know that the first black family in Utah actually worked with my grandparents? And I said, You mean worked for your grandparents. In conclusion, yep, Utah is one fucked up place to be. But if you're going to be forcibly relocated there, August is a beautiful month to do it in. And that's what Utah's like. Thanks for tuning in.